Alrighty, on this video, I'm gonna get to the meat of the matter, um, how to actually read your reports and clicky. So right now we're looking at a simple one, one day report on my website. And so as we can see, we had 22 visitors, um, 41 actions. And if you look at actions, it basically it's either page views or outbound links. So 39 of that is page views. Um, so what that means is that not everybody, you know, some people look at one page, some people look at two pages, some people look at three pages, it just depends. Um, so with actions, we can see um, exactly what actions they took, and I'll show you a little more about that in a sec. And the visitors, um, so 19 unique visitors, and all 19 were new, but um, I just installed Clicky a few days ago. I just got this on here, so uh, it's really... Uh, interesting exactly the new and the unique and you know as i have it on a little longer um i'll start to see more return visitors too which is cool so scroll down a little bit we can see the content you can see which of my articles they are consuming on my website and we can dig a little deeper in a second which we will links this is how people are finding my website so most of these are redirects from some of my old websites um, you can see one came from LinkedIn, and then we got some other things. Um, searches so far, um, none of these came in off of a Google search, but if they did, they would um, be right here. And then locale, most of these US based, as expected. Um, you can dig a little deeper, see what cities that these people are in, what language they're speaking, what host they're using, all kinds of things. Over here, it, it digs in your traffic sources a little bit. So 13 of these came in um, from just typing in my website into their browser. Um, eight of those came in off links. One came in off of social media, which was that LinkedIn one we looked at a minute ago. And now we can dig a little deeper here um, so we can see by which um, content they consume. So four people saw the Chamber article, three people saw my blog post, um, few people saw the opt-in and so as you can see you can break that down and where it gets really interesting is when you get into the visitor count to so go here to visitors and here's where it gets really interesting um, on this um, it has a, a log of every visitor and a lot of tracking tools have this but I've never seen one that was this clear and this specific um, with the visitor log um, and right here where it's showing the ones that came in off certain links, um, it's really specific on what they came in off of and real specific on what they um, looked at. And this one um, was a conversion, which is why this is a little man here. Um, and it shows which one's converted, which is really good. Um, and so you can look at the actions of each one. Um, you can scroll through them, look at different ones. So, for example, on this one that converted, if you click on actions, it will show um, what city he's in, um, what the IP address is, um, it hit the goals, which we'll cover that in the next video, um, which page he landed on, um, where he went when he was on my website. Um, so it's really specific and really nice that you can look through all these different things and determine um, where people are coming, where people are going, what they're doing when they're on my site, which is really helpful. The other thing we can look at are platforms. You know, what kind of things are people using? You know, are they on um, desktops, on laptops? What are they using? So we got, looks like two of these are on Safari, and then 12 are on Google Chrome, four on Firefox. Um, and so far, just uh, one was on a cell phone, which I'm surprised it's not higher, but that's what we're showing. And we look at operating systems, get a little deeper into what they're using. We got Mac, Windows, Tip on Linux, iPhone person. Um, so that's really important that you look at that because you need to know um, what they're using. You know, if you see that you have a lot of cell phone visitors and your phone's, your website's not cell phone friendly, um, then you can adjust things accordingly. So those are the most important things that you need to look at using Clicky. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of other different things you can look at. 
Um, I don't I'm gonna overwhelm you with so many different stats to run nuts. Um, I just want to show you the most important things. Um, but Clicky is free for basic users, and even if you're on, not a basic user, you can uh, get a free trial. Um, unless you're doing goals, which we'll be covering in the next video, um, the basic plan great for everybody. Um, so really no excuse not to get it on your website. So there you go. That's the basics of using Clicky. Um, go out there and use it.